conditioned women to give, give, give to the point of over giving, over serving. And what ends up happening is over time, we run out of being able to just give in one direction. But typically women keep doing it. They keep giving, but they grow quietly resentful and that builds and it festers. And over time, it then spews out and affects the relationship. Over giving, over serving in every other direction but towards yourself is a mismatch energy. And so the only person who can take care of your needs is you. Even if that means relaying what your needs are to other people and saying, you know, I really need a day just to be off. I really need a day to take care of myself. I really need right now time for us just to sit on the couch and reconnect. If we aren't able to ever communicate what it is we need, then it's never going to get fulfilled. Your replenishment is your responsibility. Hello, family and friends. Welcome to the Daughters of Sheba's Sunday Spirit. How are you on this beautiful Sunday? I hope we are all doing great. Being the eldest child in my immediate family, I assumed the role quite early of being the optimist. And my co-directors will tell you I am the calm one the one to say let's agree to disagree and call a truce. I'm the optimist and the one always looking on the bright side of the situation and trying to make everyone see that. Looking back through my journey, I realized that was always my role. And I assumed this role quite early, even as a child. What a journey. What a journey. And I'm just doing um, a bit of a, a practice now where I'm going way back into my young adult years, going back further again to my teenage years and my childhood and looking back to see what things or what um, circumstances have shaped me to be the kind of person that I am now the personality that I have assumed over the years. And I'm realizing that this has been one of the personalities I assumed even as early as a child. And so today I want us to look at our personal cup, our vessel, our temple, our inner self, our being. How filled up is our cup? We have various roles um, that we have assumed over the years throughout our lives, our journey. We have family roles. We are daughters. We are sons. We are parents. We are spouses. We are siblings. We are grandparents. We are cousins, aunts, uncles. We have a lot of family roles that we have assumed. But we also have professional roles. We are uh, managers, entrepreneurs, um, various professionals, and you know, the list goes on. So, you know, the roles are ongoing. We are part of various communities, various um, societies. We have different roles that we've assumed over the years. But the question is, are we fulfilling these roles and emptying ourselves in the process? You know, taking on all these roles, assuming all these roles, how does that play into ourselves, into our mental well-being? Are we taking the time that we should to fill up our tank, fill up our cup? Are we replenishing as we should? It, I hope that we are. Because if you keep pouring and pouring off yourself to feel full, to fulfill these roles, our cup will eventually run dry. If we're not replenishing, 
if we're not taking the time to do things that we need to do our cups are gonna eventually run dry and that's when we have the burnouts the um the the the, the devastation in terms of just being content constantly fatigued um the mental well-being being shattered being broken because we keep pouring into others pouring into different roles that we've assumed and not taking the time to replenish lack of personal times lead to a multitude of personal and mental deficiencies and for all of us it's different because um, our deficiencies will um, manifest itself in different ways and for us it's going to be very different for all for each of us it may be the same for some of us but for a lot of us is going to be different for me personally i basically la um, lost my self-confidence um, i had a lack of self-esteem uh, <laughs> i lost my self-identity basically i was either somebody's wife somebody's mom i was i was a manager at the bank um you know i was very involved in church I, I just lost myself and I was not Gloria anymore. I had a lot of other labels, but I was not Gloria anymore. And so I kept pouring and pouring and pouring and eventually <laughs> the crop ran dry. I was so caught up in being everything to everyone that my crop ran dry. I lost, I lost my joy, my sense of well-being, my fun. I'm normally a very fun person, but I didn't have time to be fun anymore because I was busy doing other things or being other, being something else, somebody else at all the time. I lost my sense of me, Gloria, who I am, who I used to be as a child, dreams I had, aspirations I had, everything just fell by the wayside because my cup was pouring into others constant but the good news is once we have come to that sense of self of self-reflection and self-realization of where we're at we can start filling up again isn't that awesome once we recognize that the cup is depleted we can start filling up again and how can we do this one drop at a time can you believe that one drop at a time and here are a few recommendations that i have put into practice myself so i'm not a professional this is just what i have done to help me replenish my cup one drop at a time and the first thing was to slow down slow it right down i pace myself and i prior prioritize myself Spending some time to myself daily, taking a lunch break, or sitting and having a cup of tea, or just sitting for at least 10 minutes and just breathe and relax. Deep breaths and just slow the pace down. Just, just sit for a few minutes, just look around all that we are blessed with all that we have just look around absorb it breathe and just take a few minutes just slow it right down another thing i did was invest in myself go for a walk whether it's been early in the morning or in the evenings or maybe some spa time Get a haircut if you're a man. Just go to the barber shop. Sit. Get a haircut. Chill. Have a chat. Do what you guys do in the barber shops. And for us girls, having some spa time, just relaxing, taking some time for ourselves. But invest in ourselves in whatever way that suits you or that you enjoy the most. Invest in yourself. Another thing was do something every day that makes you smile. <laughs> I smile a lot now, and that's a no thing. But hang with friends, listen to some music, go watch a movie, but do something that makes you smile. Something that makes you smile. What makes you smile? For me, listening to music makes me smile. I enjoy music. 
um, hanging with my friends. I have fun doing that. And you know, it, it gives me a sense of commun of community, of, of well being, just hanging with my friends. Mm -hmm. Nothing big, just just hanging. And another important thing for me was saying no. Say no. And that was a biggie for me. Do not be constantly adding to what you already have on your plate. Even for some of us, it is difficult. But for your own well-being, mental and physical, spiritually sometimes too, we need to say no. We cannot always be pouring and pouring and pouring from the cup. Look at your physical self. Think about your mental, spiritual, any being that you have. How much are you filling up? How much do you have to give without depleting yourself? It is necessary sometimes even to seek professional help because sometimes we are so depleted, so devastated, so broken that we do need that. Life is a joy. It is a blessing and life is full of abundance in all areas of our lives live to the fullest every day live love laugh enjoy and have a sunday cup a sunday cup full to overflowing in all that you are have a great one